Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. The question of the day is, what is the closing cost for seller? What does that mean? Um, a lot of people ask me this question. They say, Manny, we sell the property. What will be my closing cost? And then they needed to make sure that they have enough fund if they're moving into the next property. They have a lot of moving expense accumulated when they're selling the property. So let me simplify this whole process into a six different expenses, which is accumulated after you sell your property. So let's say number one, if when you're selling your property, you need a lawyer. So legal expenses also involve. So the lawyer transfer all your documents, all your disbursements, all your fees, and they discharge your mortgages on your title and give a clear title to the buyers. So the buyer send their money to them. So lawyers charge a fee. The fee is in between $500 to $1,500. I am only talking about on the seller side. So that is a number one expense accumulated when you sell your property. Okay, number two, your property tax. Your lawyer has to do the property adjustment. Some sellers, they are property taxes is paid yearly. So it means the first six months of the, of the year, you are not paying, you're just staying free, and but you're paying property tax after June and you have advanced. So think if you are sell your property in a March, you still owe three months property taxes. So that is also adjustment. So sometime adjustment come in between $500 to $3,000 just to pay the property taxes so they can collect it from your last adjustment. Okay, number three, real property report and compliance. What is that real property report and compliance is? When you sell a property, you need to provide a survey report to a purchaser that your property complied. To get that report, you need a expense of in between $500 to $700. So that's also a expense when we sell our property. So number four, moving expenses. Hey, you need to take your stuff and move into a second home. That's also expense, but sometimes we don't pay attention to that. A normal home to move one place to another place, it close to $1,000 to, it goes up to $5,000, but again, a normal home, which is close to $400,000, you're looking somewhere at $1,000 to $2,000. That's called moving expense. So number four, property, Appraisals. Sometimes you need to get your property appraised and because if they are unique property or you needed to get your appraisal done because you need a bridge financing or for another purposes, that is also sometimes it shows that you need to do a property appraisal that also cost in between $300 to $500. So number six is condo docs. Simplify if you are owner a condo docs, you need to supply a condominium document system, also a stop certificate provided over to the buyers at the very end that you pay all the condo fees you supply the insurance and you supply the condo docs those condo docs also cost you in between somewhere hundred fifty dollars to three thousand dollars not sorry three thousand dollars three hundred dollars so again all these six items you needed to be keep in your mind when you're selling your property. So these all expenses are in between $3,000 to $7,000. Think if you did not think about it yet that your expense is $7,000 and you are purchasing a next property, that will be your shortfall for your next property. So hopefully this will help you to make your mind when you are prepared to sell your property, not only commission or not only your realtor fees is as a expense, Expense. These also six other expenses also come when you sell your property. Hopefully this helpful you for you. I'll bring you my next video tomorrow. Thank you so much. Like, subscribe, and stay tuned.